Well, hello there everyone, and welcome to another episode of Dragon Mania Legends. Um, we're still going with the Christmas event, as you can see by that little star thing that's going on. And we are actually at tier 8, which is the Ginger Dragon tier, amazingly enough. And then soon enough, since we've got 4 days left, hopefully we will actually be able to get the food and the Jingle Dragon. But it's looking pretty likely that we might actually make it for once, yay! I mean, these are taking forever because you have to get like 36 of them or 24 or whatever else. But I think we've got a good shot at doing it. And gems are actually on a massive sale, which is why I bought the biggest one. I know I shouldn't be putting on so much money, but I mean, whatever I get from this, I might as well put back into it, right? But without further ado... We got this little guy from the Christmas event, so we might as well take a look at him. And this is the Frostbite Dragon, as you probably already guessed, but I absolutely adore the look of this guy when he's a baby. Just look at his big eye. Enemies of the Frostbite Dragon should never make the mistake of thinking its bark is worse than its bite. Its bark is quite frightening, but fangs of solid ice can do a lot more damage. And that's a very good point. But shadow, water, and wind, it's hard to find a dragon with such amazing typing. Because you can heal up with the water, you can um, lower everything's damage with the wind, and then the shadow just does way too much damage. I know it got nerfed a little bit, but it still does an insane amount, and it's a pretty good attack. Um, but we actually do have somewhere to put him, thank god. He's called Upa. Oh, look at his legs as well. But let's level him up until level 3. Because next level he'll... At level 4, that's when he becomes his big form. But I love this little guy. Just look at him. He's just a really calm and cute. That's why I love this one. Just look at him though. He looks awesome. I mean, we don't really have space for him on our team. But we finally got him at least, so that's pretty good. And along with that guy, you've probably already seen, but we also have this egg in the hatchery here, and this is actually the helper dragon. So we got pretty lucky, and we got him when we had like three or four days left. I don't remember when I actually bred him, but there you go. So we've got him coming on the way. And here you can see I put in the Magnet and Emperor, which is the combo for trying out for the Crystal Dragon. But instead of that, we actually got a new dragon for us anyway. And if we scroll along here, I'm guessing most of you know what this is. But the only other possibility with a one day timer is actually the Stardust Dragon. So that's another epic that we've got. So now we are going to have two of the Shadow epics, finally since we didn't have any of them before. But getting the Stardust is pretty sweet, to be honest with you. Um, but I thought I can get these ones at any time, so I might as well just go for broke and try out for the Crystal Dragon, because why the heck not? And it looks like Hatching Dragons hasn't reset yet, so we'll leave that one for now. We only got three more to go, but we got quite a few of level up and definitely a crap ton of collect gold. But the extra gems that I put on, if there's like three or four left to finish one up, I might just do it quickly. As long as I'm not using too many of the gems because I don't want to just waste them. I prefer to keep these gems for a while now. Since the last set of gems I bought, I use on upgrading, what was it, this portal here. As you can see, it takes a crap ton to upgrade that now. And there's also a special deal going on called the Special Dragon Pack right now, which is apparently 62% off, which has the purchase-only digital dragon for another two days. And that's about £20. It's a little bit pricey. There's no denying that. So it's up to you whether you want to put the money on for that. I'm not going to judge anyone that wants it. It's a pretty cool-looking dragon. And... Someone in the comments, I think it was Philip, um, he pointed out that I kept saying, oh, we have to do the Light and Shadow Islands before we get the Steampunk, but that's actually not accurate at all, because since the Steampunk Dragon was released with Heroic Mode ages ago, 
we actually only have to complete the main map to unlock the steampunk dragon, which means we're actually going to get that guy really soon. Like, say, two or three days worth of doing this, and then we should have him. Because we haven't got too many fights left. Like, when we do the phoenix boss here, that's when we'll get him. That's pretty cool. I mean, I thought it was going to take us forever. But I'm silly. And instead of using the prairie there, I think we'll use the warlord, so then we only have to use one attack. You see, th my laziness has gotten to a point where I'm even calculating the way to be the laziest possible. That's the only way to do it. I'm still getting scared about the time where using like the level 70s isn't just going to one-shot in everything. Like, surely by the end of the light island, there's level 70s there, because that seems pretty likely to me. I don't know for sure. So anyone that is there, Please let me know. But it scares me. It scares me greatly. It still surprises me how so many people are such a high level, like have such high level dragons. Like, how? I've been playing this pretty much just about since release, and I am nowhere near that. Then again, it's not like I put all my effort into this game. So, who knows? I certainly don't. But before I started recording, I got a crap ton of food and put it on my desk. And now it's looking nicer than ever. So I kind of want to eat all of it, like right now. Oh, that actually damaged us a little bit. That's the most damage I've seen done to one of these dragons, like, ever. So they're obviously getting a little bit stronger. That's scary. But we got a little treasure chest here that I almost skipped past. And then we'll hire the crystal dragon and then finish up these fights for today. Again, I mostly do this just for the gold and the food. Because why not? If you can get it for free. I'll take it. Who wouldn't take free food? It's funny how infection just kills him off. Oh, that's so sad. But this crystal dragon's gonna make easy work of all these guys. That's what I like to see. This is the guy I'm hoping to breed at some point. I don't know how long it's gonna take us, but there you go. And we can open up this gate. We can't open that one yet. But these are level 58s. So we can actually see how many fights we have left. That's one, two, one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If I'm counting that correctly, which means that since we have five of these in around about two days worth, we'll actually be finished. That's spooky. Because I'm going to say like around here is when it'll get like impossible to move on. But there's people here right now. Jeez. But, again, when we do this fight, that's when we'll get the steampunk. I thought I would never get there, to be honest. Oh, that's so cool, though. And we might as well feed this guy up a little bit, as much as we can. Because I know he's only got two types, so leveling him up to a level 30 seems a little bit, like... It hurts my feelings a little bit to have to do it, but we don't have another Shadow Epic at the moment. I mean, leveling up the Stardust to level 30 will probably be the next thing that we have to do, because the Shadow Temple, we still need quite a few more, because if we don't upgrade this, it means that we're not going to be able to upgrade our Autumn Dragon at all. And since the Autumn Dragon's pretty strong, that'd be a massive, like, letdown. But when we upgrade him, we'll have three out of five, so then I'll probably do the Stardust, since we only have other one other light epic that's level 30 plus. And then the last shadow, who knows? I don't remember what I have left. I haven't done the Metal Temple yet, and the, or the Fire. So maybe the Demonic might be worth it. 
or something like that. But we'll get the Void Temple upgraded, which means we'll be able to level up our Comet when we do the Nightshade, since we have the others all fully upgraded. Apart from Legendary, right? Oh, it's already upgraded, never mind. Oh yeah, I forgot we had enough Legendaries, didn't we? I forget things very easily. We might as well clear this tree out. And these two. There we go. I still haven't finished clearing up everything here. So weird. And the gems that used to be in here, they were gone for a while, but now they're actually back. So if you want to get one gem for watching like a 30 second ad, then go ahead. That might give you the one gem that you need to actually like buy something. That's pretty cool that they brought that back in. I mean, it'd take you forever to get a lot of gems. And plus, I think they limit how many ads you can watch to get gems as well. But you might as well get a few extra if you have nothing to do. Uh, or you're waiting for like two minutes for something to happen on your island. I mean, why not? But we got a bit more food, some more portal gems. We're getting more and more portal gems by the day. Getting ridiculous, mate. And I thought buying those gems would actually be enough to put us up to VIP level 6, but no! We still got another 750 that we'd have to buy if we wanted to get level 6. It's just like, seriously? Why? Why are you gonna do this? I wanted level 6 so that we could try and brave for the midnight, but that's not happening, is it? Oh, whatever. Uh, can we increase our VIP from here? I want to see. Yeah, we can. We could just, like, buy a year's worth of VIP if we wanted to, but I'm not going to do that. I just wanted to see. It's weird to see 44 days left on that. Look at this little antler gate. That's one of the solo event rewards, which most of you are probably aware of, but it looks cute. Looks very cute. But there's still a week left on the reindeer and three days left on the helper, so I'm hoping that you guys can actually get to that guy. And there's four days left on the Frost Festival event. Um, I think people on iOS or on mobile, they got given three Christmas trees and something else, but that hasn't popped up for me. And I'm not sure whether the timers are the same on PC and on like Android and iOS because apparently on those devices they extended the amount of time we had to do this event and is that the case on here as well because I, I don't know what's going on I don't know but we should be able to do this what if we get to the like the final stage and then we have like 200 gems to spend to finish it off and we're about to miss out I'll spend 200 gems to unlock the Jingle Dragon. He's a light epic too, so that's pretty cool. But I at least want the Ginger Dragon, which is gonna happen. It's a lot of effort though, doing this event. Apparently it's about the same as doing the Halloween event, but I actually wasn't around to do the Halloween event, so I have no idea. Apparently they're about the same in difficulty for finishing them. And <clears throat> I'm still waiting for this, this clan fortress. <clears throat> but my voice appears to be failing me. Uh, I'm not sure how this, how long I've actually been playing for, to be honest. But I will probably end it here for now. Like I said, we'll be back when we get the Helper Dragon, and then probably back again when we get the Stardust, and anything in between that happens. So, thank you guys for watching, and good luck with all your Christmas breeding. I hope you get the reindeer for those of you that haven't so far. Remember, Clownfish and Fire or the Elemental and Wind are usually the better options out there, but you can use the Tribal and Water Dragon as well if you're struggling with that still, and those are pretty much the best you can do. So if it doesn't work out, uh, I'm sorry. But anyway, I've rambled on. So good luck, and I will see you next time, everyone.